So can we use the Netria to measure kids? The answer is yes, you can. However, usually when we see that question, um, it implies that the person asking is thinking that there is one autorefractor that solves for it all, uh, for all the patient populations that you might uh, encounter in the practice, and that is false. Usually autorefractors are designed to operate best in a given patient population, like ours. The Nature was designed for adults. There are devices out there that will be just designed for a pediatric um, optometrist, which will not really work well on adults, for instance. Others will work well with uh, elderly, but not really with kids. So it depends on the unit you choose and especially the technique behind that uh, that outer refractor. You will see a, a variance on the results depending on the conditions that um, that uh, you're trying to measure in a particular patient. Um, more specifically, if you're trying to measure, for instance, an elderly population with cataracts, um, you're going to be using one outer refractor an elderly population with retinal conditions, you better use another one. So it, it depends exactly on what you are addressing there. And of course, when you are in that population, you generally have more than one outer refractor, just make sure you are uh, fully covered. Going back to the kids and the Netra uh, device, it does work. Just remember that the device, the Netra is interactive. So you need to be able to teach the kid to run through the little game that they're gonna be playing. Um, which means that it can't be a baby or it can't be too young for, for that procedure to work. And um, uh, you do have a minimum PD distance for, for the device, which is 52. Yeah. So any kid uh, over eight years old, more or less, we would just work fine. Um, and then of course, the eyes of the kids are a lot stronger than the adults, right? So you do see uh, more accommodation going on you do see a lot more fluctuations in the eyes than in, than in the uh, adult population, which means that here and there you will see um, the results that are fairly off, like one or two diopters off. And those are mostly because of the accommodation of those eye muscles that the kids uh, have that are much stronger than, than ours. Uh, but that's pretty much it. If you can manage to teach them well, uh, you should be able to use the nature properly and it should give you good results. We have seen excellent results actually in in the hands of school nurses, in teachers' hands, and of course uh, pediatric uh, optometrists that are trained to talk to the kid in a way that um, it drives the, the, the kid to do a nice examination. So thanks for, for watching and good luck out there.